Hey guys, I'm going to do this in two parts. I'm going to do um, a building, just sort of a how do you sketch up mechanics thing, since I think there are still a few of you kind of trying to get uh, around that. Uh, and then I'll do in the second one, I'll do scene setup and using layout. And um, then the third one I'll do as uh, making diagrams, the actual diagrams setting them up and annotating them and that'll be it. So first one, I'm gonna go kinda of fast but uh, you know you can slow these down. So first one uh, is um, making stuff. So I'll go to the uh, my desktop, my project template, drawings, import uh, DWG. I'll start with my main level plan. Um, and after it imports, I'm gonna make sure that it is all grouped together. If not, it is not, so I'm going to select everything and G enter. So that's my main level. Then I'm going to keep importing stuff. Import upper. Um, I'll move that guy over here somewhere. I'll make him line up. I'll just move him over here for now. And make sure that he's grouped. Yep. I don't know why it does sometimes and doesn't others, but um, uh, that's just the case. So then I'll look at elevations, move those over here. That's grouped together, that's good. And then the last one I want to do is the section. Import uh, building section. And that's there. Move that to right there. There it is. There's all my stuff. So now I'm going to go and start cleaning things up from what comes in from uh, AutoCAD. I'm going to get rid of all these layers that I don't want. Uh, and I'll move all that to the default layer. And then I'll make a layer that's main level DWG. Make one that's upper level DWG. Uh, section DWG. And elevations. DWG. This is important so I can turn these things on and off. So, and then I'll put these on their appropriate layers um, by right clicking and going to Entity Info, Main Level, Entity Info, Upper Level, Entity Info, Section, Entity Info, Elevations. So now they're all set up so I can turn these off. Um, and on interdependently, which is what I want to be able to do. And now I can start modeling. I'm also going to get rid of all these scenes, but I'll do that in the next step. Okay, so um, one thing, these lines are kind of thick, and it gets kind of hard to see the little lines in between unless I zoom in. So what I'm going to do is go into Styles, Edit, and uh, turn these profiles down to 1. And that will make things a little easier to read. So now I'm going to model uh, in chunks. So what I want to do is think about how I want to model it and what components. So what do I want to be in separate components when I do diagramming? And I want to do that structure skin one because it's the hardest one. So I'm going to do that um, as the main level walls as one component. So I'm doing a rectangle on the inside and outside. And then you can see that what you can do is come in and select that plane on the inside and delete it. And now I've got this for... Uh, for a thing going on. And then I can keep drawing rectangles if I want for the other walls. Get in there. Uh, looks like it made another thing for me, didn't it? Get rid of that. Uh, you might find little inconsistencies in your DWG when you do this, which might cause some things to happen. I'm just going to delete that one later. But if I keep making rectangles here for all the walls, I should be in pretty good shape. I'm actually going to do these doors since I'm here. This guy I should have done it, so I'll just do this. Moving along. Let 
let's see, did I miss any walls? I think I forgot to get these little guys, right? Get these two. Over here. Over here. Uh, this is technically a wall, so I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to just model this guy as a wall, too. Even though it's technically a cabinet, I'm just going to do it as a wall. Okay, that I think hits all of my walls. Did I get this one? Nice thing about SketchUp is if you draw something twice, um, you know, SketchUp merges the lines together. It's kind of the best and worst thing about it, but um, that's how it can work. So I just deleted that inner plane, and now I've got my walls. I, want, I probably want to come in here and clean up some of these extra lines, like this little guy and this little guy. Oh, I deleted my... DWG, so I gotta get in there and get that other line. Very touchy there. Um, same thing over here. Delete that. Delete. And remember, you can see how when I zoom in and out, that see if I zoom in and out here, it has a has a hard time because my cursor is over just white space. So I kind of have to go over a plane or a line or something so that I can zoom out a little more effectively. I'm getting rid of that DWG again. Let me just do it this way. Um, so I'm doing this. Getting this all cleaned up. I'm still going. If I if I push down the mouse wheel, it rotates me. If I hold down the shift key and push the mouse wheel, um, it pans. So that's uh, a good good uh, shortcut for knowing how to get around. So the next thing I want to do before I fin before I start pulling up the walls is delineate where the windows are. So I'll just do that with the pencil tool and draw some lines. Whoop! Didn't have my cursor in a good spot. Just draw some lines where the windows are. And I'm just going to the far extents of the windows that are grouped together just to delineate the walls. Because I just want to end up modeling just the walls. And wherever the windows are ganged together, obviously there's uh, not going to be a wall between them. Always trying to make sure I get in there and I'm really accurate about my lines with these little thin pieces of trim sometimes it's a little difficult to be perfectly accurate like that like that and I think I'm done I think that those are my um, those are my lines and my walls. I think I've got a couple other little lines in here to delete. Oh, got the DWG again. And again. Oh, must already gotten those lines. So there we go. So now I can start pulling up walls. And I want to pull walls up the height that they are. So I want to look at the DWG or the PDF of the drawings, right? Or I can, the other thing I can do is look at my section, which I've already imported in here. Um, and I can tell what the wall heights are there by looking at my section. Um, but I know, off the top of my head, I know that that's 8 foot 1 and an 8. So I'm going to go into one of these guys and start coming up and type in 8 foot space 1 space 1 8 inch. That gives me my wall. Now, now that I've done it once, I can just double click any other wall and it'll go up the same amount. Oh, I missed a line. I'll come back for that. I missed a couple other lines. Other little 
cleaned up lines. These should come up much more clean than this if you're uh, more careful about how the lines come up. Obviously, the nice thing about SketchUp is it's really flexible, so if I am not perfect, I can always make up for it later. Uh, so let me see, I'm missing a line right there. So it should still remember my height. Yep. So I've got a couple little uh, extra lines I'll probably want to just clean up and delete. It looks like there's one there. All oh, these are these doors, right? Let me go ahead and push pull those up too. to delete. There's one right there and right there. And there we go. There are my upper level walls. So now I want to triple click. Oops, I got another line right there. One over here. Yep. I'm going to really clean that up. One over here. Like that. Then I'm going to triple click this, boom, 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 G, enter. And those are my upper level walls, or sorry, main level walls. And I'll put this on that main level uh, walls layer. Where my, where's my main level walls layer? There. And there I go. So now the next thing I want to do is a floor. The floor is a slab. It's four inches thick. I can just do it from corner to corner. Super easy. Come on. And then I can extrude that down four inches. Triple click. G enter. Low floor. Entity info. Main level floor. Now I want to do the upper level, and I want to do the roof and upper level, so I'm going to do it off of the section, which is a little bit easier. Um, and what I need to do here is draw a line up from the floor up eight, one, and an eighth, so that I know I've got um, the right height for things. Because you can see how the walls at this particular spot in the section are a little bit higher than eight foot one and an eighth, in, in kind of a really difficult way to see. So there you can see it made a plane for me. But then I want to define that a little bit more clearly. Like this. I'm going to delete this stuff in here. Delete those extra lines. That other one that I drew. And now I should just have this. Yep. And then I'm going to extrude this up the length of the building, which again, if you look at the uh, DWGs, the plans, you can see that that's 48 feet. Triple click it, G enter, and we'll call that the roof, and we'll put that on the roof layer. And then I want to draw the, um, the framing underneath. So the framing underneath, uh, you know, it obviously starts at this point, at this 8, 1, and 8th point. Um, and it comes across like this. That lower member is going to be a 2 by 12, and a 2 by 12 is 11 and a quarter inches. So I'm going to move a copy uh, 11 and a quarter inches. And then I want to figure out where those verticals come up. And to do that, I need my upper level plan, um, which I'm going to move into place. get this to be really accurate like that and then I can do what's called inferring with SketchUp where it infers where a line is so I can take my pencil and I know that this is these are those vertical pieces coming up and I can infer that line up do that get on it there it is 